In HTML, I create an element with the class box. Inside the box will contain any content. Note that the content here can be anything, as long as it is inside the box element. Now I get a request, that is add an element and insert it at the beginning of the box class. So I will create a span tag with the class before and write any content inside it. To mark it, I will give it a red color. So we have completed the request. But you know what? With a request like this, we absolutely do not need to declare an additional class before. Instead, just use CSS with this syntax. At this point, the browser will automatically understand that we want to create an element and insert it into the top content of the class box. And with the content attribute, we will write the content that we want to display here. And we get the exact same result as the first way. But in this way, we didn't declare the element in HTML. And that's why the before element is called a pseudo element. So why am I comparing the before pseudo element to a span tag and not a div or any other element? It's because the before pseudo element and the span tag both have display in line, which is why the before content and the main content are still on the same line. And for the next requirement, let's create an element that sits at the end of the content in the box tag. I'll also use the span tag to illustrate the traditional way. And to differentiate from before, I use red text. And for the next requirement, let's create an element that sits at the end of the content in the box tag. I'll also use the span tag to illustrate the traditional way. And to differentiate it from before, I'll use blue text. Yes, and that's the traditional way. So similar to how we created the before pseudo element, we can also create an after pseudo element that creates an element that sits at the bottom of the box class content. And of course, to display the content that we want, we write it in the content attribute. Short and simple, right? I will repeat again two special points about the before and after elements. The reason they are called pseudo elements is because they are created without declaration in HTML. They are compared to a span tag because they both have the default display inline attribute. And that's it for today's lesson. Thank you everyone for watching. See you in the next video.